Hello once again and welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be talking about the simultaneous play. Simultaneous play on the Akai MPC device is available in your program edit. And basically what simultaneous play does for you is just in essence, in a very simple term, it helps you to trigger another event when you strike a different event. So what you're trying to say is probably, for example, when I hit pad one, I also want to play pad eight at the same time. Um, instead of you having to lay, let's say, pad one, a good example, let's say your beat is going, or you have some beats that are supposed to come in at the same time. Maybe your shakes or one of your hearts, your kick and the heart, yeah, a snare and the heart, something like that. Those kind of combinations, they are usually kind of common when you are trying to make your beat. Now, the essence of simultaneous play is to let you work less by laying less of the MIDI event. So what happens is, when you strike a particular part for a MIDI event to occur, it simultaneously, like at the same time, automatically trigger another part to get into work. So um, let's take a look at how that actually plays out. Um, we'll go to the program edit menu on part 14. Now, on your program edit, we, we've taken our last, uh, I think the previous video we covered um, basically what Mills Group is about. You know, we talked about the poly and the mono, basically what they also do as far as beat making is concerned. Now, we're talking about this simultaneous play. That is, we, after your pad, we have simultaneous play and then we have the mute target. So that simultaneous play is what we're going to be looking at right now. What it's telling me right now is, like I said in the previous video, we talked about master, that anything you, anything you alter here affects the entire uh, um, tracks. That's what the, 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 the entire pad in that particular track. That's what masters affect. But to the right of it, you have your pad 9, which is telling me that any change I make right now is going to only affect pad 9. Any change I make in that region underneath where you have that pad 9, anything I, any change I make will affect just that. I'm talking about the level, the pan, the mute group, layer play, sample play, and the poly. Now, any, any change I make, they affect just pad 9. Then to the right of it, we have the simultaneous play. And that simultaneous play, basically, I think it gives us the right to be able to trigger four more pads. That each time I strike this, that means I strike one, but then extra four is playing, which means five can also be triggered to play um, simultaneously. We're going to take a look later at how you can, you know, use some styles to delay, you know, when each of them will play in by maybe like if you get just by shifting kind of like the the attack and all that but then for now let's just focus on what the simultaneous play is it's, it's not something that should take most of your time so what happens is let's say for example i want to make a beat that sounds like this which means anytime this strikes i want this open heart to follow What I'm trying to do now, if I'm to record that here, yeah, because I, I've got fast fingers on the pad, I can easily record it and say, oh yeah, no stress. But an easier way for me, I can easily just do this with one hand and this will trigger this. So that's where we're going. So let's go back to the program edit and then we'll hit pad nine. The mute group is off, which means it's not turning off or switching, you know, it's not switching off any other, it's not muting any other pad in, in here. Um, if you wanted to if you wanted to target a particular part to mute, you can actually set it here. But then we're not doing that. We're basically focusing on the simultaneous play. So we we'll click on simultaneous play, and I'll take it to part eight because it's eight. We're trying to let it also play simultaneously, and that's all. So now when I strike part nine, you can hear the two. Well. If you are not able to hear it, let me keep turning this. You keep hearing others playing underneath. Let's go to part 10. You see, this is 10. That particular uh, um, sound. Now, let's go to 11. I think that kind of like a shaker. One of those drums. It's another hat. Now, do you get... So, basically, in essence, what I'm trying to say is, instead of me to use three fingers to start tapping that same beat, since I set this, the pad simultaneous play to 8 
for part nine don't forget you are always have to remember where you are then which one you want it to play that's where you set the simultaneous play too so now all i need to do is and this is the difference if you are not hitting it this is what i have when it's off and now when it's on eight it's what i get Don't forget, you can actually, you know, use simultaneous play for up to four. So if you want to try that out, should we decide to try that out? Let me let me say um, ten. Here now we're hearing three different sounds in it. And if I enable this as well, this is five here. So you're striking this. So you have the right to basically you have the freedom per se to basically add four more parts that you want this particular event to trigger simultaneously anytime you hit that event and that's what simultaneous play does for you it's basically going to make your workflow a lot easier another thing you need to notice right now let's click on this icon that looks like a locator do you see that yes let me let me do that again that particular icon that looks like a map locator just on top of the inside the red box that when you hit that it has current, it has multiple, it has all. So what you're trying to say is, any what, what, what I want to do right now, let it affect on just the current part I'm clicking on, right? If you want it to affect multiple, let's say you want like three, you want to work on three particular or four particular parts at the same time. You want to give them the same, or you want to put them maybe like in the same group, or you want to set them up to be the same, um, maybe the same simultaneous play, things like that. You have to go to multiple. When you click multiple mode, you will be able to select multiple uh, pads at the same time. As you are selecting it, as you can see, your screen is turning red. Now, all these pads I've selected now, by the time I close this, you will see all of them listed. Before it used to be um, pad 09 or something, but now you can see all of them are listed, which means any change I make now, will impact all of this particular part one two three five six seven and nine as you can see within that red box a good example let's say all i want to do now is just click on the mute group and put them on mute group two once i do that everything now all these parts they are going to be affected in that mute group too so if i strike one they keep they'll be muting each other out that is basically what that does so but don't forget always try to make sure you check that particular place and make sure it's back to that current that means the one you're working on currently and not everything so that you don't get to mess up your workflow when you're doing your work so you have to be conscious of the fact that you need to know which mode your edit zone is maybe it is multiple or all by all means everything applied whatever setting i want to do now to all the parts from a to h that means only 128 then if you take it back to current, it's just one at a time. Multiple, you have the liberty to select and then effect anything you want to effect on them. Be it your mute group, your layer play, your sample, your poly, and simultaneous play or mute target. Don't forget, we're going to be taking our time to talk about these samples, envelopes, LFO, modulation, and effects in our subsequent video. Just stick around. We'll take, we'll take them one by one, and there you have it. So that'll be all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and you know, We'll see you in the next one.